Delighted to be joined on the phone by Donald Gunn, who is a one of a two-piece duo hailing from Sligo, along with Piers Feeney from the band Toucan. Donald, how are you doing? Not too bad, Gary, and yourself? Good, thanks, good. You started off in 1999, but you're really only on the scene in the last couple of years, because uh, you went on to do college once you started off. Yeah, well, myself and Piers, we've been playing to gu- uh, guitar together for Jesus ages now, about nine years but we said that we'd uh, we'd go to college and get ourselves some degrees first, and then once we'd done that, kind of throw ourselves into the music industry, uh, just in case things didn't work out, we'd have something to fall back on, you know. So you listen to the parents. That's it. That's it exactly. <laughs> well, you had to keep them happy. You know? <laughs> exactly. So what did you qualify in? So well, I did uh, engineering, funnily enough, and Pierce did English and philosophy. So two polar extremes, you know. Uh, and then nothing to do with music at all, you know. During the college years, I mean, did you ever enter into the Battle of the Bands competitions that were going on or anything? Well, we kind of, we did that a lot because we, we played a lot and we practiced and we spent a lot of time kind of developing our sound during those college years, you know. Uh, so we used to go in for open mics and do gigs in our hometown in the Sligo and a bit around Dublin as well because we were both studying in Dublin. So that kind of helped us develop and nurture our, our own style, you know, as opposed to kind of just throwing ourselves into the music business before we had, you know, our own kind of thing. This kind of gave us a chance to sit back and really think about where we wanted to go before we kind of dived into it. When we did jump into it, we, we had a full set of our own material that we were both happy with that we could take out there and people really kind of picked up on that uh, rather quickly and things like the electric picnic picnic were amazing you know we kind of managed to get our foot in the door two years ago and then we were asked back to play to finish out the festival in 2007 in the body and soul area and then this year the same thing happened again so things like that kind of really help propel you along you know and it gets gets your music out there and things like MySpace and YouTube, you know, maybe that's one thing from college that we both picked up is using the internet. Does MySpace it. really work, though, these days? It does and it doesn't, you know. It's it's a good thing to have, you know. It's not going to get you discovered like maybe it did a few bands when it, when people started getting into yeah. it. But it's definitely, in, in terms of online, getting your music out to all sorts of people around the world, it's a, a great kind of reference point to kind of guide people towards, you know, instead of sending CDs to countless people you can yeah. they will check out the MySpace and th- the other thing is you don't have to be a whiz on the computer to keep it updated you know not unlike a, a, a real website so it's kind of very user friendly so you can put up your own songs and change you know gigs and tour dates and all that kind of stuff Well how does it work then for an upcoming band Donald to like have Alabama 3 take you under their wing and get you to support all their Irish gigs I mean that that's a that's a great coup yeah, well, that was amazing. That was just over the summer. Uh, it was the Alabama Three acoustic set. They took us on a, on a five-day whirlwind tour uh, of Ireland. But we had played a festival with them uh, in 2007, uh, Sligo Live Festival. They were in Sligo to play, and uh, we're from Sligo, so we got the, the support slot. And the kind of initial connections were made then, and then the guy that was booking the, the tour for Alabama Three in Ireland he was connected with, with us, so he kind of just put one and one together, you know, Excellent. so that was that was amazing, you know, great fun, they're brilliant people, and it was a great opportunity for us to kind of get out to bigger audiences around Ireland. The funny thing about Alabama 3 is, I think half the population of Galway under the age of 30 can claim that they've been out partying with them. Yeah. Are, are they real party animals, or is it just more of a myth? Oh, no, it's it's not a myth at all. Those guys those guys are fully committed to the rock and roll lifestyle. <laughs> you know? So for the five days, we kind of felt that we had to keep up pace with them, you know. Uh, and we managed to, but Jesus, after the five days, we were fairly, <laughs> fairly worn out. Is it all instrumental music? 
It's all instrumental, yeah. It's based on myself and the other guy that p- plays in the band. It's two Spanish guitars, and it's kind of very fast-paced and a lot of percussion on the guitars, and a big kind of rock, heavy metal influence there. But yeah, it's all instrumental. I guess not a million miles away from other instrumental guitar duos like Rodrigo Gabriela yeah. and like Paco de Lucia and Aldi Viola and, and stuff like that. But lately, we've kind of started adding a bit of Irish influence into the kind of the Latino heavy metal experimental acoustic rock genre that, that, that pair is saying up your bio every minute or something that, some, <laughs> something, something like that you know? <laughs> interesting to see as well that Lance Hogan from Keela was involved in um, producing your EP and I remember talking to Lance before thinking that a lot of the members in there were real trad type musicians or they grew up listening to trad but I mean they come from just such wide backgrounds whether it be from classical to heavy metal well this is it uh, Lance who's the drummer and producer for Keela and his brother Brian they would be total kind of rock heads you know and they would come from from a totally different kind of background as opposed to the Osnodig brothers who would be more trad you know and I think that's what gives Keela their their kind of uniqueness is that it's not trad but there's elements of trad and it's not rock or world but there's elements of rock and world in it and uh, we were lucky enough to work with Lance again on our debut album actually that we just finished recording last week Everyone keeps talking to me about Saul Beers. This is the new thing replacing, I suppose, Corona or something, is it? In America, I think Saul Beer is almost more popular than, than Corona, but uh, I think it's new enough in the Irish markets. But there, about a year ago, uh, we were approached by a marketing company who were working for Saul Beer, and they asked if they could use one of our songs in a radio ad. Cool. And uh, we don't mind endorsing it because it's something that we use regularly. <laughs> Have they actually given you any crates of beer? Well, they promised that they would, <laughs> you know, uh, back initially when the, when the hardball negotiations were, were being done. Yeah. But uh, they, they never really appeared, but then we managed to get some free beer out of them in the end, so, so it's all good. You're coming to Galway for two gigs. The first one is going to be in the Lockray Hotel, where you will be playing alongside Alabama 3 and Republic of Loose. It's a great lineup to be on stage with. It's going to be on the yeah. 14th of December. Yeah, the 14th of December in Lockray in the Grand Hotel. It should be a great gig. And then a night to recuperate, <laughs> and then the next night, which will be the 16th of December, yeah. we're doing our own gig in the Roisin Dove. So we've done a good few gigs around Galway before in De Burgos and in the Roisin as well. So hopefully that should go well. And so we always get a, a good, strong crowd and, and a good response in Galway. So the 14th of December, you're playing in the Lockray Hotel with Alabama 3 and Republic of Loose. And if nobody can get tickets for that, they can go online and get tickets to see you playing in the Russian Dove in Galway City for the 16th of December. That's it, yeah. Don't go on off Toucan. Thanks a million for your time. Cheers. Thanks a million, guys. Have lots of fun in Galway. Will do. Cheers. Thanks. There you go. That's Donald Gunn from Irish band Toucan, originally from Sligo, but of course touring all around the country at the moment. And to check out more information and upcoming gigs, you can log on to their website, which of course is www.tucanmusic.com. And if you're into MySpace, www.myspace.com forward slash Toucan Music.